Um, sliding doors, a bit unconventional, a bit unusual. Why? What are the benefits? Are there any downsides? There is some downsides to them, which is something we've specifically addressed in our selection of product, that they are renowned for potentially having issues with their smoothness of sliding. So we've gone for a high-end market leader. Um, the reason we've gone for sliding doors is two reasons, really. Um, there's quite a nice aesthetic reason for sliding sliding doors into small smaller shower rooms, but also the space saving element, the, the loss of the door swing. So it makes much more usable space within the room. And as I've touched on the transition between the two spaces, but that door swing in and out of the space, particularly where we've got the relatively efficient spaces, the loss of the need to swing the door is a huge plus to us. We've been very careful about the selection of the apparatus for the door swings and we've also um, been very careful about the ironmongery use to make sure that it's a nice seamless smooth running operation. We've been and looked at working examples before we selected this one and then subsequent to that we've had the supplier out to work with us on the installation. And in here is it just the, uh, the, the bedrooms through to the ensuite? Yeah the, the um, second bedrooms into their shower rooms have got the sliding doors. Um, not in every instance, but in most instances. Up here in the ceiling, we've got some instances where we've got a lower eaves, and of course that cuts in where the door would close, so we've gone for a more conventional door swing in there, but the space planning's allowed for that swing anyway. So really, it's a, it's a space-saving exercise. It, it's it, it's, it's going to be very nice to, to operate, and it'll give a good transition between the spaces.